Hello everyone, I'm Wenda Zhao, a PhD candidate from the University of Toronto. Today, I would like to present our work, Learning Based Bias Correction for Time Difference of Arrival, Ultrawide and Localization of Resource Constraint Mobile Robots. This work was done by me and my colleague Jacobo under the supervision of Professor Angela Schulich. Robot Swarm have become increasingly valuable for many indoor robotics applications from warehouse management to inspection and monitoring tasks. Accurate indoor localization is a crucial enabling technology for all these applications. With a millimeter level accurate motion capture system, we can achieve amazing robot swarm coordination. However, such a high accurate localization system is often expensive and unaffordable. Since satellite-based navigation systems are unreliable in urban scenarios, and unavailable for indoor spaces. Camera-based approaches are often used for uh, robot navigation. However, visual methods require clear visual features and constant lighting conditions. As shown on the right, visual adoption algorithms accumulate arrows and drift over time. With loop closure, visual stamp systems can correct the drifts, yet they require a large amount of computing resources and need to update the map to account for changes in the environment. Therefore, it is essential to de develop an affordable and absolute positioning system to enable long-term autonomy for multi-agent systems. In recent years, ultra-weapon technology has received many attentions due to its accurate and high frequency measurements with tiny integrated circuits. These features make, make ultra-weapon a suitable indoor localization solution. Ultra-weapon technology consists of emitting very short pulses, usually called monopulses. Thanks to its high boundaries, ultra-weapon can achieve precise time-of-flight measurements. Recent applications of ultra-weapon involves uh, asset checking and indoor Google Maps. Ultra-weapon chips have also been included in the latest generation of smartphones for faster data transfer and accurate indoor positioning. For an ultra-weapon-based localization system, we have ultra-weapon modules installed in the space, which are often called anchors. The two main ranging modes are two-way ranging and time difference of arrival, also called TDOA. In two-way ranging, the ultra-weapon module mounted on the robot, also called TAG, communicates with anchors and acquires range measurements through two-way communication. In TDOA, however, Ultra-weapon tags receives signals from anchors passively and compute the difference in distance between two anchors as TDOA measurements. We mainly focus on uh, TDOA-based localization uh, since it can allow multiple robots to localize themselves simultaneously. Although ultra-weapon can achieve a superior measurement accuracy compared to other radio frequency technologies, the raw ultra-weapon measurements are often cor corrupted with measurement outliers and systematic biases. To address these challenges, we present a two-step method um, combining robust filtering and learning-based bias correction to improve the accuracy and robustness of ultra-weapon TDOA-based localization. Ultra-weapon measurement outliers are mostly caused by non of sight and multi-pass signal propagation. Comparing to the direct line of sight signal propagation, non line of sight may occur because of the obstacle penetrating capability of ultra-weapon radios. The multipass effect is the result of radio wave reflection. Both non line of sight and multipass leads to longer time of flight measurements. In indoor scenarios, metal structures, walls, and obstacles often cause non line of sight and multipass propagation, leading to large measurement outliers. To achieve a reliable localization, we applied a lightweight robust common filter to reduce the influence of measurement outliers. From the Bayesian Maxa posterior perspective, uh, the posterior estimate of conventional common filter is to minimize the quadratic cost of both the pre estimate and the measurements. The intrinsic minimum mean square error criteria makes the conventional common filter sensitive to outliers. To reduce the influence of outlier, we replaced the uh, least square cost function with an M estimation cost function and derived a recursive M estimation based common filter. 
We implemented the robust command filter on board a crazy fly nano cojotter. A comparison of the hovering performance is shown with the videos. With the conventional common filter, the quadrotter is easily affected by the outlier measurements and it jumps around with a hovering command. With the robust filtering, the hovering performance is much more stable. We have contributed the robust common filter to the Grizzly firmware open source project, and we encourage the Grizzly users to check out this new functionality. In addition to the measurement outliers, the off-the-shelf low-cost ultra-weapon modules also show distinctive and reproducible biases under line of sight conditions. In the measurement testing experiments, we commanded the quadrotter to hover under a line of sight condition and yaw around the z-axis three times, each time with a different orientation of one ultra-weapon anchor. It can be observed that the biases are strongly related to the relative anchor tech poses to assess the influence of the ultra open chips manufacturing variability. We repeated the experiment with five different EW1000 ultra open tags with fixed anchor poses. We can see in the bottom plot that the bias pattern created by five different ultra open chips are extremely similar. Since the measurement biases is consistent and reproducible, we use the range Hasmus elevation model to uniquely represent the relative pose and learn the bias pattern with a neural network. We select a three layer fully connected neural network with 30 neurons each layer to capture the bias pattern. The training data was collected from seven ultra constellations with different anchor poses. The inputs to the network are the relative anchor type poses represented by the relative position as well as the elevation angles and the output is the measurement bias. To evaluate the input feature selection, we compare the best correction performance of a network with anchor orientation as the uh, input feature, which is the proposed method, against a network without anchor orientation information. Both networks are trained with the same training data, and the best correction performance are evaluated through a um, real-world flight. With our trained neural network bias model, we combine the best correction with the robust estimation and present a lightweight PDOA-based localization framework for a resource-constrained platform. The diagram is shown on the bottom right. When receiving an ultra-weapon measurement, we first correct the measurement with a neural network-based model and then apply the robust filtering. We implemented the proposed uh, framework on board a crucified nano quadrotter and conducted real-world flight. Uh, the localization system is constructed with eight ultra-weapon anchors, and the nano quadrotter was equipped with an IMU and a low-cost ultra-weapon tag. The motion capture system is only used to provide ground data. To demonstrate effectiveness, we fly a crazy fly nano quadrotter using testing co uh, anchor constellations that are different from those used for data collection. The blue circle enclosed the quadrotter with our proposed method. We first select the uh, performance of the M estimation based common filter as our baseline and compare it against the estimation enhanced by the proposed uh, network. The large circle in the video is the desired path, and our proposed method uh, showed a clear improvement for trajectory checking, especially in the Z axis. We also compared the performance of the proposed approach to the network bias model without anchor orientation. In this particular trial, both models uh, show a reasonable performance in the beginning. Yet, the network without anchor orientation shows wrong bias prediction near the end of the trajectory. We also note that all three methods show a worse performance in the second half of the trajectory, and that is due to the selection of the 3D uh, anchor constellation. Also, the circle trajectory is uh, approaching the boundary of the constellation which leads to degrade localization performance as well. To demonstrate the generalizability, we conducted flight experiments over two trajectories using three entirely new testing constellations. Comparing to the baseline method, the proposed approach reduces the position root mean square error by around 42% in the testing constellations 
and achieved an accuracy of approximately 14 centimeter RMS arrow on board a nano quadrotor. Lastly, we also showed that with TDOA measurements, we are able to fly multiple quadrotors. We can see in the video that the quadrotors still show a relatively worse transmission results in that axis, and that is attributed to our constellation setups. Over all the experiments, the separation of the anchors in that axis is only around 2.8 meters, which is limited by the height of the tripods. With a larger separation in Z, we expected to see a better performance. In summary, we presented a learning enhanced robust auto weapon TDA based localization framework for resource constrained mobile robots. We show that the proposed method is efficient enough to be implemented on board a nano quadrotor for real time execution. We demonstrated the effectiveness and generalizability of our approach through real world flight. Experimental results show that the proposed method provides an average of 42% localization error reduction compared to the baseline method without bias correction. Thanks for listening. For more interesting research works and the crew robot projects, please visit our lab website.